You know what it is, baby. It's your boy, AJ El Callejero, con Vlad TV, Bohemia Latina. And of course, why wouldn't Mr. Johnny Marines, manager of Aventura, manager of Romeo Santos, I call him the Spanish Diddy, <laughs> give me an exclusive interview in his hotel room in the Mandalay Bay. What's going on, my brother? I'm just right here, man. Happy grinding. The album coming out tomorrow, November 8th. And, you know, we, we're just very excited. There's a, there's a big, you know, fever for the music, and uh, we feel real good about it. So talk to, me, talk to me about this Romeo Santos project. Everybody's talking about it. The collaborations in this CD are incredible. Could you tell me how did the collaboration with Lil Wayne pop off? You know, the, the, the collab with Lil Wayne is, is, is pretty, um, it's kind of weird how it came about because um, Steve Stout, who you know, you know, is from the, the whole the rap, hip -hop you know, and Steve, Who's working with us on this uh, show we did with Will, we're doing with Will Smith and uh, and Jada Pinkett that we're doing for ABC? The whole sitcom is. Uh, I asked Steve. I was like, Yo, Steve, you know, do you have a connect with um, you know, Little Wayne's people? And uh, sure enough, you know, he put me in contact with them, and it, it was really smooth. Like once you know, Little Wayne found out, you know, who it was that that wanted to do the collab, and then I, I reached out to Cortez. You know, they, there was nothing but love. Like, them dudes, like, really, there was like, yeah, it's like a no-brainer. Let's do it. It's crazy because the way you look at it now, it seems more like the general market artists are like, they need to start collaborating with those Latino artists. As you can see, Lil Wayne collaborating with you guys. Now you got Jada Pinkett and Will Smith trying to do something with uh, Romeo. Talk to me about the uh, Romeo Project, the TV thing going on right now. Yeah, that's another one that Steve Stout actually reached out to me and, um, um, James Lasseter, who's partners with Will at Overbrook Entertainment, reached out to us and, uh, you know, they wanted, to, they wanted to know if we was interested in Romeo, you know, doing a sitcom. And we were a little skeptical in the beginning because we were like, you know, he's never really done acting yet. And even though he does want to be an actor, it's one of the passions, you know, that he has and he feels real strong about. We kind of felt like, you know, we were thinking more about movies. And... Here we were being offered a sitcom, but when we started analyzing, we are like, wait a minute. Will Smith, who did the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, that's a classic, right? To this day. <laughs> and he's co-signing on Romeo. And then they're telling us this is going to be on a major TV network. There's not going to be like cable or nothing like that. That's going to be picked up by one of the major ones. We was like, wait a minute, you know, maybe we should think about this. So we end up having meetings, you know. Um, Steve Stout, who, by the way, was the one that recommended Romeo. Okay. You know, um, we ended up having meetings and stuff like that. And it took about, it wasn't like overnight. This was something that took about a year. Okay, wow. So it's been in the works already. Oh, it's been in the works for a long time. The thing is that we didn't speak about it. You know, we didn't tell anybody, oh, we signed to Will Smith or nothing like that. We kind of just kept that under wraps. And we was like, let's see what happens. Let's see where this leads. And if, you know something gives then we'll then we'll make the announcement and that's exactly how it went down